Hello again, we are in Milton Keynes UK and we are at the F1 home run from Red Bull Racing. So they won the constructors and drivers title. We are one part of the show, but there are many more cars and bikes and we will show you around today and see what's what. So I went up the paddock and I found Josh. Is that right? Yeah. That's yeah. Josh. So um, yeah, Josh is the engineer of this car. Or yeah. maybe you just introduce yourself. So yeah. Maybe that's so easier. I'm an engineer for M Sport. Um, I've done the 2022 WRC. I've worked with Pierre uh, Lubeng and Sebastian Loeb this year. So I ran him in Monty and also Kenya. But yeah, it's been an interesting year. But working on this thing is pretty cool. So. Yeah, so actually as a young boy I always uh, enjoyed watching WRC in the, in the TV because it was the only cars that I could see racing going sideways and that's, yeah. that, that was I was always excited about. So maybe let's start with the numbers. So um, yeah, the tech specs of uh, this will go through the specification. Um, it starts, we've got at the front we have like a, a 1.6 turbocharged uh, engine. It's fully designed by M-Sport, um, but that has around about 400 horsepower and it's mated to a uh, four-wheel drive system. It doesn't have a center diff, so it's um, fixed front and rear four-wheel drive. Um, and then we've got on each corner, um, we have uh, 300 mil brakes, uh, Brembo brakes, um, and it's got Riga dampers. Um, and they've got about 300 mil of travel um, and then in these cars we have a hybrid system as well as the engine uh, that runs at about 750 volts and gives you a maximum of 130 horsepower on top of the engine when you've got the boost so in total we have around about 530 horsepower when you have the full boost um, but that's not all the time it's only uh, when you in certain situations in the stage because it's all down to FIA regulations um, we have a 60 litre fuel tank uh, the aero wise all of it on the outside is carbon there's not much of the standard humor Underneath, it's a space frame chassis, um, all fully built in house at M Sport, um, and then all clad in carbon parts over it. That's mostly the tech specs of the car. And I, I have to say, I, I always say it with all the respect, rally drivers in my eyes are the most complete drivers, but also you're stupid. Because <laughs> going through the woods with like over 200 kph and just having trees flying by. I would shit my pants. I'd be honest, I'd be dead honest, I would shit my pants if I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, it's, they are a different breed, the rally drivers. It's um, very impressive to see what they do, because to go fast on one surface is one thing, but then to have the commitment to do that on ice, snow, tarmac, and really tight roads, like I've been passing through on some of these before, and it's just crazy. Like, okay. the speed that you go, and that's, I've just been with like, not very fast drivers before, never mind like going like low or something like that, that's just like, it would be crazy. So yeah, uh, just to also put that in, in contrast, and it's not a circuit where they're going a couple times and feeling the conditions, they go stages, they drove once before, yeah. but not on, at a race pace, they just drove through, looked with their eyes, made some notes, and then they go full tilt. So this is the thing where I have the biggest respect, because yeah, sun's coming up, conditions are gonna change, and you have a patch of ice here, you have a patch of something there, and it's so different, and those guys are so close together. This, this is what always impresses me, like yeah. the top five are sometimes within like a minute over like three days or something. This is this is just insane. So thank you very much, Josh. No worries, um, thank you. Really, was interesting chatting to you and hopefully the guys out there now know a little bit more about WRC. I can just highly advise to look into it because it's very interesting. Yeah, it's definitely very... watch it. Um, uh, I'm sure if you look drift in and that sort of thing, you'll uh, love the WRC because they, they look down sideways just like the drifters do. Alright, 
Everybody knows this lovely young lad, Mr. Connor Shannon. Oh, yeah. come on, come on. I don't know. If you don't, you missed out. Better catch him on. Uh, Connor Shannon has 79 or else the Shannon's YouTube channel, yeah. There you go. This baby right there just ripped like nothing else. 900 horsepower, right? Yeah, now? yeah, yeah, 900 right now. Torque? 1,000, 1,000 meters of torque. Yeah. Weight? 1170. Yeah, so it's a serious car. I've been enjoying driving this car a lot. Probably the best car I've ever driven, like gel with. I just feel at home every time I drive it, so it's, it's fun for sure. So nice to see you in a car like yeah. that because I know the struggles you've been going through yeah. with the car yeah, yeah, so yeah. far. It's just beautiful. I like the car, it's amazing. Track? It's fun, it's fun, it's different, it's like, you know, you're kind of like doing stuff and you're like, oh, I don't know how far I can push it. How fast would you think the car could go if you put a long uh, trim in it? Easy 250 miles an hour. Oh, that's it. Connor's beautiful, baby. One of my favorites. Like it, it does the job. It's been built uh, simple by us at home. And uh, first event in the car ran flawless, and it's been like that since. So that's the goal for us, is just to have everything simple, and it's good enough to win events. So. And a bunch of podiums. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And top championship. Been a good year. Been a good year. Thank you, man. Thank you. I found Patrick here. Hey, how are you doing? Doing very good. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you again. So, uh, for the viewers from our channel, maybe you want to introduce yourself. Uh, I'm, I raced in Formula One in 2005, so really a long time ago. And now I work at the Red Bull Ring since 2011. I do all the coaching there on the racetrack. So with the Porsche, with the KTM Crossbow, we have Formula cars there. So I'm all the time involved still in, in racing. I started racing when I was 10. Wow. So I'm, now I'm 42, <laughs> 32 years. But I still love it. It's my passion and especially here we are with the Nazca, with the Toyota Camry. I mean, it's different what, I no what I'm normally used to it because I was growing up with Formula cars and the Formula car is completely different because it's so light, the Formula car. For example, a Formula 4 car has 570 kilograms. <laughs> That car has 1,700 kilograms, so it's a big difference, especially on the braking corner speed, but it's good for the show. Okay, so how was it for you today out on the track? Ah, very slippery, because <laughs> especially the first run, we did it on slicks, Okay. and I went down and then I was hitting the brakes and I was like, oh, the car is not slowing down, oh, it's really slippery, <laughs> so maybe I should brake a little bit earlier, but now we swapped. Uh, in the second run, uh, we were putting the rain tires in the front ah, okay. and the slicks at the rear, so it was much better. The engine, it's a 5.5 liter engine of around 850 kilograms. And as you can see, when you look inside here, very simple. Also the strut braces the and strut everything. Braces, yeah. And also when you look into the into the monocoque, uh, into the cockpit, it's really old school, more or less. Uh, we have at the Red Bull Ring, we have three NASCARs. One of them, we, we used it already uh, many times in Goodwood. It's a 4H four, four gearbox. Okay. So when you shift, the ways are really long. And also the steering position, because you're really close to the steering wheel. It's a bit unusual, but you get used to it. Okay. So what, what is the top speed of this? Uh, mainly, NASCAR is ra racing in Nova. Top speed is around 300 and 30, 340. Okay, okay. But sometimes in the big ovals they do uh, the average speed is 300. So like going like four hours, 300, 300. Especially when you have 40 cars around you, it's quite tricky. It's yeah. really interesting. Okay, so we have to wait 1,700 kilo, 850 horsepower, 5.5 liter, 5.5 liter. So I think we got all the, the and, and pieces, also yeah. what is very simple. For example, when they press crash in the, in the race. That uh, cage, more or less, yeah. they just throw it away. They, they never oh. repair it. Okay, just use a new one. Use a new one, and okay. then you go again. <laughs> Uh, it's crazy. Like also, I think the setup, if you go on an oval track, is actually asymmetric. Absolutely. But yeah. I guess you now have it. This one is more or less for the racetrack because yeah. we are running that car at the Red Bull Ring. Yeah. So it's the setup is a bit different, but 
is you just start up the engine and uh, you will love it. It's okay. the, the noise, the sound of the car is, is really great. So awesome, Patrick. Thank you very much Pleasure. for explaining us a little yeah. bit here and giving some feedback on how, how it's uh, like to drive this, this beast. Thanks. But I wasn't expecting to wait. And you, you can see what we have here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> We have a small e-brake. Yeah, it's yeah, very helpful, yeah. huh? Yeah, it's helpful. For turning around with some bumps in yeah. the tight corners, it's really helpful. Ah, that that's cool. That's yeah. that's a nice toy. But I guess it's uh, built in after you yeah, got it. Yeah, we were. Yeah, yeah. Schmidi was putting that in the car, yeah. so it's a little secret. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, then we maybe <laughs> keep keep it. Stay tuned, okay. guys. Peace. We've seen some machinery here. So we saw the drift car of Conor Shanahan. We saw the WRC car of Sebastian Loeb. And we saw the NAS car that Patrick Riesacher is driving. So we made up some parameters and now drum rolls. It's rolling in, it's rolling in. The most powerful you can hear in the back, it's actually Conor's drift car with 950 horsepower. The fastest is the NAS car with over 320 kilometers per hour, which is really fast. And I would say the WRC car is the one with the most suspension travel, over 300 millimeter, that's quite a lot. And yeah, we had a good time. It's starting to get really cold again because the sun's down and we pack up and I would say see you next time.